How's it going guys? Today we have this 2013 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 in ash and gray metallic. It's got a little over 49,000 miles on it or right around there. Uh, there's a lot to say about this car. <clears throat> Definitely one mean street car right here. And uh, I'm going to close my hood for a little bit. So, back story with this car. We had actually sold this a few years ago. I saw it at auction come back up. I ended up buying it. <clears throat> Talked to the old owner of the car. And then, unfortunately, while it was in my possession, uh, it had a lifter failure. So, we ended up tearing the whole top end of the motor apart, going through it, cleaning everything out, replacing stuff. We use a, a really great shop out here called Street Life Performance, who all they do is LS builds, some badass builds. <clears throat> so we got with him. We ended up uh, putting a fresh cam into it. It's got a custom grind cam. Uh, upgraded the, to LS7 lifters, dual valve springs, push rock, you know, all that stuff for the top end of the motor. And uh, now it's ready to rock and roll. But pretty cool car it looks great sounds mean it's crazy loud if you like to get attention this is definitely a car that will do that for you so we're going to do our normal walk arounds we do 360 all the way around the car i'll try to point out as many flaws and blemishes of it show you the interior we'll go back to the engine i'll give you the rundown of everything done to this car and uh just try to get as much info as I can in these videos. So I'm gonna shut the hood all the way first. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it's got a carbon hood. It is, it's pretty aged. There's no clear on it. It's not perfect. Um, my plan was to get the hood redone, but we spent a lot more money on this car than anticipated. So it's already out of the budget. But we're going to go over it, show you the front end first. There's going to be a couple, you know, blemishes here and there. It is a used car still at the end of the day. But show you the front end. Actually, we'll start with the hood. So obviously, you know, there's no clear on it, basically. But this is a functional hood. These vents do extract heat. Definitely helps out a lot on these blower motor cars. They build up a lot of heat and you, you want to get it out of there. But you can see. <clears throat> the hood needs some love. It's got some stress cracks all throughout it. Try to show you up there. Show you the front end, front bumper. You're going to get normal pitting and rock chips. You know, can't really avoid it all. There's a little bit of damage right here. It's like something pushed into it and a little paint blemish right there as well then you got bumper tabs out a little bit pretty typical to see on these i think the it may have rubbed on the tire and kind of pushed it in. So it's not perfect there. The car's sitting on some Nitto N555 G2s. Uh, pretty decent tire. It's got them all the way around. In the back helps give it decent grip. This car makes a lot of power though. So it's definitely good to invest in a good drag radial. Not just a, a regular. 280 tread wear. I'll show you the doors. We'll see some fingerprints and all that throughout. Uh, pretty common issue on these. The the weather still stops kind of sitting flush. So a new clip could uh, eliminate that. Hoping the quality of the video comes out. It kind of seems grainy on my screen here, but it could be our lighting. Let's 
got smoke tails. Uh, while we're back here, this thing is straight piped, fully straight pipe from the headers back. So it's as loud as you can make this car. It's got the carbon flash metallic deck lid. Your rear end there. Also, has black tips. Gives it a cool little look. You have paint defect right here. scrapage on the side view mirror so like I said it's not a perfect car and then again on I just like the other side get a little blemish this one's got a little bit of paint missing <clears throat> so let's jump in the interior real quick it's got some upgrades in there as well it's got this really cool uh, gauge, this Innovate gauge. So this thing will actually show you uh, your AFR, your ethanol content, your intake temps, aftermarket radio. The speakers, uh, they don't put the sound out very well. So I'm not sure uh, if it's going on with the radio or not. But this thing's so dang loud, you can't really hear it. This car also has a new battery. So we're right at 48,294. So a bit less than 49. Turn that off. AC works good, heater works. out and uh, pop the head but show you the rest of the interior so it's all pretty super clean the seats look good steering wheel looks nice show you the door panels I'll go on the other side seats you may not see much of the lighting on this uh i do have the cam card in here so texas speed did a custom grind cam um, all out tuning is the one that spec this cam out for the car so it's got all of it uh, it's a pretty choppy boy stays in there and then we'll go back over the engine bay everything done with the car And I got a little list because I always forget stuff, but everything that we just done to the car, it includes new LS7 lifters, obviously the cam. We did a dual valve spring upgrade, titanium retainers, new valve seals, chrome molly push rods. The heads have been, you know, fully refreshed basically. We didn't port the heads, they're still the factory uh, castings, you know, non ported. They still flow pretty good, especially when once you just shove boost in them, it's not gonna make you know a massive difference. So there's that. Also got a lot of stuff that you can really see. You got your long tube headers. I think they're Texas Speed. Um, they've always been on this car. Got a Mighty Mouse catch can. Got the Roto Fab cold air intake. Uh, Legend filter upper and lower pulley. It's got a 2.5 upper, forget what the, the lower was. You also got the BMR Icebox, this thing's cool. I'm actually friends with the, the owners of this company. 
Um, but just keep it full of water. If you ever have to track, you can throw ice in this and you'll get some pretty cool uh, temps for your blower. So you can see where you got a line that goes in and out. You got a pump that stays on at all times down the bottom. Uh, but it flows cooled air to the intercooler, which is under your lid. So pretty cool upgrade. The colder the air temps, the more power this car is going to make. Uh, it's for fuel system. It's got the DSX external fuel pump kit and their flex fuel sensor as well. And just like we're inside of the car, you can look at your flex fuel content or your ethanol content on the display. So that's super nice to have, especially if you want to make sure you don't get a bad batch or, you know, you're not even on uh, ethanol. So really cool to have that. And that's pretty much most of it for the engine bay. So it's basically a full bolt-on car. It did, this car still does have the sprung uh, isolator. So there's a little pulley back under the snout. That thing will get pretty noisy if you're idling. Uh, the lash caused by, by the idle with the, the cam, the chop, uh, creates a lash and you can hear it kind of, you know, it sounds like a, a bad pulley or a grinding noise. Um, that's something that I would recommend upgrading. They make a solid a solid isolator that kind of gets rid of that, but it's basically the spring inside of it causing it to do it. So once it's warmed up and idling, you, you'll hear it. It sounds like a bad pulley, but rev it up and then it goes away. Uh, you won't really notice it while you're driving. But that's pretty much the setup on this car. And I got a digital copy of the, the dyno sheet as well. But it's pretty cool. I've only ran E85 in it, um, but with the flex fuel kit, it could take the 91. I've never, you know, I haven't driven enough to flush, you know, run 91 through it. Typically on these cars, I usually like to keep them on E85 to save for fuel to run, you know, less detonation, especially, you know, when it's really hot out here in Arizona. It's about 100 degrees right now. Um, the car also has an upgraded uh, heat exchanger, I believe. So it's got that done, but pretty neat. If you want to make sure this ZL1 is still available, go to azautohunters.com. If you have Instagram, be sure to follow us at azautohunters. Um, before I forget, real, real fast, power numbers. The car made 650 and almost 700 wheel torque. So that was before uh, throwing ice in it. So this car should have about 700 through it. And it's also got an upgraded torque converter. It's a Circle D. Actually, I'm not 100% on which converter it is, but it's got an upgraded converter. Drivability is really nice. Even with the aggressive cam, it's not bad at all. Um, whenever you have a cam auto, one thing I always suggest when you're at a stoplight, throw it in neutral. That way it's not putting load on everything and helps keep your trans temp a little bit cooler. But other than that, it's pretty much gone over the whole car. And you know, of course, if you have any questions, is very modified always feel free to shoot us uh questions either on instagram or you can email us directly but other than that guys that is a wrap